In this quick video, I'll show you how to replace the battery in your Nissan 370Z key fob. You can replace your battery at home. It's a very easy process. The whole thing will take you under five minutes from start to finish. The only things you'll need to get it done are a regular flathead screwdriver and one CR2032 battery. Uh, if you don't have one of these batteries lying around the house, go check out that first link down in the description. That'll take you over to Amazon where you can find these batteries that you need for this particular device. And they're just a few dollars. So go check that out if you're interested and then we can get right into it. So your version um, for the 370Z, it will have three buttons most likely instead of this four button version. Instead of just the regular Nissan symbol, it'll have a silver Z for the 370Z doesn't matter, they're the same um, device, just a slightly different version, and the process is going to be the same, regardless of which one you have. So what we're going to do, which we don't need that right now, uh, we wanna flip this over, find the lever on the back, and just hold that down while you pull out the internal key. And now if you look right over here where the key just came from, you can see there the, on the right side, if you're looking at the face, looking at it like this, the bottom from the face. It's on the right side, there's a small indentation right there. It can be kind of hard to find at first, but what we're going to do is take a flathead screwdriver, anything that you have that can fit right in here. Um, and so this one is obviously too big. You don't want to go jamming in a uh, screwdriver that is too large. You will mess up the plastic and make it harder to open in the future. So if you don't have a screwdriver about this size, um, and you'd like to pick something up, I would recommend this pack that I personally use. That's where this one came from. I'll put that in the description as well. That is also just a few bucks on Amazon. So take your flathead, insert it into that area, and just twist gently. Just twist until you, it, it starts to open up. Just a little bit of an opening can be seen on the side. And now we're gonna go and just twist in there until it comes apart nice and easy like that. So right here we have the battery and this is very simple. Just take the same tool, wiggle it under the battery. There we go, and just pry it up. Show you that once more. Just sticking the corner of the flathead under the battery and lifting it up. Um, now you can go take a new CR2032. And when you put it in, make sure that this positive side is facing down. Put it in like that and just snap it into place. Now all we need to do is put these two back together. So just line it up and squeeze. Let's try that again. There we go. Just squeeze it all back together. You can put your key back in. And with that, you are finished. Got a new battery in there and you are good to go. So I hope this video was helpful for you. And if it was, feel free to give this video a like, or you can uh, just let me know about it down in the comment section. We'd love to hear your feedback. Um, and if you ever need help with another one of your key fobs, you can come back here and we will have you covered with a tutorial just like this one. Uh, we've got videos like this for the key fobs for almost every make and model out there. And you can also get all this information and more over at our website, which is fobbattery.com.